All right, here we go. Let's do some more of this. Let's get back over in our lab. I added another VMX. Let's add some XRV 9K. Add an object, node. I got XRV and I got XRV 9K. I forget what the difference is, but I'm pretty sure XRV 9K is more capable. I want to add two, and I want it to have... I think when you have seven Ethernets, you, you actually only get four. And I can't remember what the other ones are, but I think you get G0000 through G0003. I'm going to add, I'm going to make it 10 so I get a few more. I think VMX comes with 10 already. All right, there we go. So we got two of them in here. Not sure if you caught this, but I have various versions of XRV9K. I hope 7.0.2 will be able to demonstrate some of the more latest and greatest SP capabilities. All right. Okay, I renamed my XRV9Ks. My VMXs are Router 1, Router 2, Router 3. XRV9K is Router 4 and Router 5. Let's connect these up. Uh, maybe port 3 to 3. And four to four. Let's see if we can do that. Four to four. Okay, so that's my service provider core that I'm going to go with. A mix of Juniper and Cisco iOS XR. I'm going to add some customer edge boxes. I'm just going to add some lightweight uh, Dynamips iOS. I'm going to add four nodes so I can have one router on, I'm going to have them scattered throughout like this just for testing purposes as a customer edge box. Okay, I connected all my, my customer edge boxes on Fast Ethernet 00 and I went with port 6 to keep it standard on all of the PEs. I had to shut them down when I was making connections because I have an EVNG community which doesn't allow for hot connections. You have to bring down the node to make a connection. So if you buy the license for EVNG Pro, you get that capability, which is very nice. Let's highlight them all. Let's start them all. Right click, start selected. They're firing up. And again, when you're controlling VMX, you click on the control plane. Okay, so I have selected. The control plane, they're booting up. There's my three VMXs. Here's my XRV 9K booting up quite nicely. And the CEs are probably done booting up because they're lightweight. They boot up pretty quick. Okay, those are booting up now. And if you want to move things around, you just highlight all of it, you move it around. Um, something else that's nice is you can add a custom shape. Uh, let's give it a color. Let's give it a nice blue. And that's a square. It works for me. I just want to uh, put an outline around the service provider core. Make it kind of nice. Then you can give it a note. And the note, I don't know where it went. Okay, you have to type something in the box. So say okay, and call it service provider core. 
There we go. We can add that down here. Just drag this thing to make the text bigger. There we go. Okay, the uh, XRV9Ks are done booting. And as is typical of XR, when it first boots up for the first time, you have to give it a root system username. There we go. Okay, so the two XRV boxes have booted up and they are running XR Shover. Uh, They are running 7.0.2, just like we saw before. And the interfaces that we see, well, we see a, some of the virtual line card and virtual route processor and show inventory, uh, show interfaces brief. There we go. We've got seven interfaces. I'll admin down. All right, so we've expanded our service provider core. We have three VMXs from Juniper. We have two XRV9Ks, Cisco, uh, SP platforms, and we have four customer edges around the periphery of the network. And so I'm looking forward to doing some various service provider architectures, uh, label switching, uh, various types of traffic engineering, SR, SRV6, some EVPN. So please join me on my future videos. All right. Bye for now.